What is up guys, Joe here back with another video. Today I wanted to cover Algorand's first and best DeFi protocol. And this is the AlgoFi platform just released on their blockchain. So AlgoFi is a bit of a hybrid between Uniswap, Aave, Compound, Maker, where you can do tons of amazing things with your Algorand tokens, including lending, swapping, liquidity providing, zapping, staking, and farming. So after months of anticipation, AlgoFi is now a full-blown DEX and DeFi protocol that truly is marking a new era for the Algorand token. Now currently there is only 40 million dollars in total value locked but I do anticipate this number can easily hit 100 million, 500 million, even a billion under its protocol just for all the amazing things this platform offers. There's tons of amazing things you can do on this platform including leveraging your algo and borrowing their native STBL stablecoin. So today I wanted to cover a complete guide on how to yield farm, lend and stake within the AlgoFi platform. So let's get started. So first thing is first, you will need to install the My Algo wallet. And this is a Web3 wallet only for desktops where you can store, send, transact, and even stake your Algorand tokens. The very easy to use interface, and you can also pair it with a Ledger Nano device. The website here is myalgo.com. Because this is a decentralized wallet, you do not need to register with an email all you would do is click on access and go ahead and log in with your password and once you're inside you will see your wallet address up here and any recent transactions in the center and you do also have the option of using the para wallet which is the official algorand wallet if you want to use the algofi platform but keep in mind this is a mobile wallet for now this is only available for iphones or androids there is no desktop wallet yet there is a desktop version in the works and we can expect to see that in the third quarter of 2022. That's why I recommend you use the My Algo wallet instead. So once you have that installed, you will need to buy and send some Algo from Coinbase and send it to your My Algo wallet. So I'm a fan of using Coinbase Pro being that their fees are lower than the regular Coinbase. If you're constantly buying coins and doing DeFi and yield farming, you can get a better buying fee through Coinbase Pro and not the regular Coinbase. And both accounts are linked under the same username. So it's very easy to switch to use either account. But just remember, you will access the lower fees through Coinbase Pro. And if you wanted to withdraw the same way within the regular Coinbase, all you would do is click on the top right and click on send and receive. And under send, just click on the amount of algo you would like to send so back to coinbase pro you would hit withdraw select algorand crypto address now under address here is where we will enter the my algo wallet address so go back to my wallet and under receive your address is pasted here go ahead and copy that and i go back to coinbase pro and enter the wallet address under amount we're gonna go ahead and send 21 algos you see there is a network fee for this transaction and that is the gas fee and a gas fee is essentially a fee to send any coin from point a to point b and this is inherent in any blockchain ethereum solana cosmos they all have gas fees including algorand and verify this looks correct and Again, the network fee here would be 0 0.002 of one algo token. So that currently is less than a penny. Super cheap, super fast to transact. Travel time here, processing time, close to five seconds. So this is amazing work on Algorand's blockchain processing. Let's go ahead and hit withdrawal. And the withdrawal has begun. And now we just navigate back to our algo wallet and you do see our deposit has came through now we do have a total of 21 available and you can always verify the transaction on the algo explorer website great so now that that's completed our next step would be to connect the my algo wallet to the algofi website so the website here would be algofi.org this is a home page and you can read more about what is happening under the hood in the AlgoFi platform. You can read into the developing team 
who some of the investors were, look at their official Twitter or Discord or subreddit. So at the very top, all we're gonna do is click on app. This brings us to the swap page. So we're gonna go ahead and hit connect wallet here and select my algo wallet. And keep in mind, if you are using the Para wallet on your phone, you're gonna have to sync this with your phone. But because I'm on a desktop, I prefer using the My Algo wallet. It's going to ask for a connection request. Go ahead and approve, hit connect. Amazing, now that we're in, going to want to swap some of our Algo for USDC. And also we're going to want to swap some Algo for some stable token. Back on the swap page, we do see that we do have 20.40 preloaded in our wallet. So we're going to want to convert 10 algos for some USDC. So currently one algo is roughly 70 cents and USDC is a stable coin, which is pegged to $1. So for every 10 algo, we will be receiving 7.02 USDC. And for this conversion to happen, there is a 0.25 fee. So we're gonna go ahead and hit swap and approve the transaction and go ahead and approve the transaction in the My Algo wallet continue. Since I do have a Ledger Nano device synced to my Algo wallet, I will approve the transaction on my device. Great, and a few seconds later, the swap was approved. Again, you can view the transaction on Algo Explorer. And if we click on the tab here, we do see our updated balance. We have 10 Algorand left, and now we have seven USDC. So now our next step is we're gonna wanna swap some more Algo for some STBL stablecoin. And one more time, we're gonna swap 10 Algos for the STBL token. And this is another stablecoin. Verify this all looks correct. And the fee here would be 0.25. Hit swap, send, verifying your ledger device. Amazing, that was approved. And if we navigate to our wallet here, our new balance is 0.99 Algorand, seven USDC and seven STBL stable coins. Great. So now our next step would be, we have to choose a strategy. Obviously this is the DeFi platform. Our goal here is to chase the highest yield. That's the whole point of yield farming and DeFi. So we have three options. We can either provide liquidity to a pool, you can lend the USDC or the stable token, or you can stake the STBL token. So let's look at the first option, which is providing liquidity to either a pool and afterwards you can form the LP tokens. So under the pool section, you can add a pair of liquidity tokens. So for example, you can pair Algo with let's say USDC. This would create its own pool. Keep in mind, you have to add equal contribution of both tokens in order for this to work. Or let's say you wanted to do stable and USDC. So you're probably wondering what's the return rate on this stable pool. So we would click on analytics and on this overview page we navigate towards the bottom the pools page you can sort by the seven day apr and you can also sort by total value lock so the biggest pool here on this ecosystem is the usdc stable pool with over 3 million total value locked and the seven day apr is only 2.8 percent Keep in mind, this is a new ecosystem, so they don't have much data to work off of, but because of market conditions and the low liquidity, we are netting only 2% APR, which is decent for a stablecoin pool. But in turn, with the LP tokens that are generated here, you can grab these LP tokens and head over to the farm section and it's almost like double staking. With your LP tokens, you can stake those as well. So we have the stable USDC LP here. And for this pair, you will net 18.97% APR, which is close to 19. So if we were to add the two, 19% here plus 2% here, it's over 21%, close to 22% APR on a stablecoin pair. It's a very healthy return, very lucrative and a win in my book. So again, once you provide liquidity here, stable and USDC pair, you're given LP tokens as your receipt. And with these LP tokens, you can farm them again. It's almost like double staking, double the rewards. So this would net you 22% APR. Super bullish, an amazing win for anyone farming these coins. And actually a faster way to add liquidity to a pool and create LP tokens would be to go to the Zap section. So Zap is a one-click operation where you insert one asset and it'll create a pair of LP tokens for you. Instead of doing a bunch of clicks in the pool section, with Zap, it's a one-click method. 
So let's say we had some USDC we wanted to contribute and what LP tokens would we like to create? And here we go, we have the USDC stable pair. And just like that, you would hit zap and it would create the pair for you. And from there, you can go into farm and farm those. This is an amazing feature implemented by the AlgoFi team. So this method would earn you the highest return rate, adding liquidity to a pool. So in terms of return rate, LP tokens would net you the highest return, lending would net you medium returns, and staking would net you the lowest return. We can look at our second strategy, which is lending the USDC or the STBL token. And again, STBL is the native Algorand algorithmic stable coin so back to algofi we would click on lend click on opt-in assets and allow this permission on your my algo wallet great and once you're in you do see the lend and borrow rates for the several algorand ecosystem tokens so we do have algo stable usdc go btc and go eth go btc is the wrapped version of bitcoin on the algorand network and go eth is the wrapped ether version of ethereum on the algorand network so if you wanted to lend your algorand tokens the supply apr is both 0.71 plus a boost of 4.93 so if you add both of these up your supply rate would be a little over 5% apr next up stbl stablecoin the total reward supply rate here is 10.5% so pretty high you're earning over 10% on this stbl stablecoin that's a good deal in my book and lastly if you wanted to lend the USDC stablecoin, you get a combined supply APR of 2.35 plus 10.5 for a combined rate of over 12%. So out of these two, I would pick the USDC token because we're talking about earning over 12% on a stablecoin versus earning 10% on the STBL stablecoin. Even though it's only a 2% difference, depending on the amount you lend, this can really make a difference for you. So always chase the bigger yield. You want the maximum return on your assets. But if you don't want to do any conversion, you're always free to lend the regular Algorand token, which is netting you close to 5% APR. So what you would do is click on here and opt in the AlgoFi lend page and approve the transaction. And keep in mind, the rewards are paid out in Algorand token. Even though you supply stable, you're paid out in Algorand and the same as USDC, you're paid out in Algorand. You're not paid out in the same coin. But the cool thing is once you're paid out in Algorand, you're free to go back to the swap page and swap the Algorand back to any other coin you would like. And how you decipher the difference between the APR rates. So the number above is the regular APR rate and the blue number below is the boosted event they are having. Both of these rates are variable, so they change depending on market conditions. So you definitely want to keep an eye out on both when you're lending your coins. And on the last section here, there is the borrow section. So you are free to borrow some of these coins. So you're free to borrow the same way Algo or Stable and USDC. But keep in mind, these are not interest-free. Algorand is coming in at 2.73 APR. If you wanted to borrow Stable, 4%. USDC, 5% so you will need crypto collateral in order to take out a loan against your coins and you can use any of these coins to borrow more tokens you probably wonder why would somebody want to borrow money easy people borrow tokens in order to yield farm with them let's say algo is only charging you two percent to borrow algo and instead you can stake the coin at six percent that's a four percent gain in my book so only for borrowing at a two percent rate but making in return somewhere else staking six percent you can net a four percent gain this is the reason why people like to borrow coins because they can find a higher yield somewhere else including under the pool and the stake section and at the very top you do see how much lending people are supplying so there's a total of 42 million being lent currently and 15 million being borrowed in return so again my suggestion because we are looking at stable coins is to lend usdc because you will net 12 percent apr simply for lending and the beauty about stable coins is it's always pegged to one dollar there's no impermanent loss you're not going to lose this money you're only going to be appreciating your coins this manner so that is the second strategy for yield farming in algofi and lastly you can stake the stbl token 
So we go back to this page and we navigate to the stake page. We do see if you stake the native stablecoin STBL token, your APR here is 10%. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Click on this arrow and click on opt-in staking and approve the transaction on the MyAlgo wallet. Cool, now that we have granted permission under amount, you can hit max and we have a total amount of 7.11 stable tokens that we converted earlier and you would hit on stake here and approve the transaction on your my algo wallet continue cool that was approved and you do see your stake portion here 7.11 and the rewards per day is 0.001 and when you're ready to claim your rewards you would just hit claim here and rewards are paid out daily and if you ever wanted to unstake, you would click on this unstake tab and hit max and hit unstake and you can pull your coins out of this staking page. Cool, so that about covers the three different strategies you can use to earn money on the AlgoFi website. You can provide liquidity, you can lend USDC or stable token, earn up to 10 to 12%, or you can just stake the stable token and earn 10%. Cool. Finally, you should decide what to do with your rewards. You can claim them and reinvest them. So for staking, you can claim your rewards and continue re-adding into the same staking page and compounding your rewards. So for staking, you are paid out in the same token, which is the STBL token. But if you were lending, you're paid out in Algorand token and with Algorand, Algorand, you can continue adding back to the Algorand treasury. So as you're earning Algorand rewards, you can put it back into the same treasury here, this Algo reserves. And you also do have the option of just swapping the rewards into another token. So let's say you do not want to keep the Algorand token. You can always swap it for USDC or maybe Go BTC, which is the Bitcoin wrap version or Go ETH. So let's say you finally did want to cash out and convert this to fiat. You can always send it out of Algify or out of the my algo wallet back to coinbase or coinbase pro and you can withdraw that into your checking account so there are tons of different things you can do with your rewards so super bullish on the algofi platform and the algorand token in general the team has a ton of updates in the pipeline and a giant roadmap for the year ahead this is just the beginning of what they're going to be implementing into the algofi network Great, so let me know what you think about Algofi. Are you a fan? Do you like their protocol? Let me know in the comment section. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.